Hello, NWNA members. John Bashaw here, president of the Northwest Cape Coral Neighborhood Association. The last time that we did an interview like this, uh, I told you that we were planning on having a neighborhood cleanup day at uh, Seven Islands and Tropicana Park. Well, we did that. And today I'd like to give you just a brief update on how that went. We had about 30 members show up. Uh, we cleaned up all of the, what I would call light waste that's on the Seven Islands and Tropicana. And the reason that we did that is um, it was really sort of disturbing that uh, people, and I don't know if they're residents or non-residents, I, I don't know who they are, but somebody's throwing a lot of garbage on that property and it is really the gem in Northwest Cape Coral that uh, deserves some better care. So um, we spent Saturday mornings, uh, two or three hours cleaning it up, picking up all of the uh, light garbage that we could. We also made arrangements with the Department of Public Works and with Michael Hill Chisholm, who's the senior project manager there, to bring in some heavy equipment to remove some of the large objects like a washing machine, a refrigerator, uh, lawn mowers, and um, a Volkswagen Beetle, believe it or not, buried between Island 6 and Island 7. Uh, there was a boat trailer on Island 2. Uh, it was just a mess. So in a really good partnership with the city, we worked out a way of um, getting that thing, uh, getting that place cleaned up and it has happened. Um, I may have moved a little too quickly here though, uh, because I don't know if you are familiar with the location. So uh, Paul, if you could, please bring up the map that shows uh, the location of the Seven Islands property and Tropicana Park. There it is. So the, uh, the westernmost vertical body of water is the North Spreader Canal. And then just to the east of that are the Seven Islands. And they sort of start at the end of Tropicana Parkway. So um, Tropicana Parkway runs, you know, across the city, but from uh, Burnt Store Road, it runs west and it actually goes all the way to the Spreader. And then to the north of it is uh, Tropicana Park, and then there's a little bit of Tropicana Park to the south of it, but then a bit further south, that's where the Seven Islands property begins. And they're really not islands, they're more, um, oh, I don't know, I guess they're like mushroom-shaped peninsulas that are connected with a little finger body of land to Old Burnt Store Road. And each one of those little fingers actually has a gate that prevents somebody from uh, driving onto the property. While the gates at number one and number two have been torn down, and that's what allows people to get in there uh, and drop off refrigerators and nasty stuff like that. Now, as for the Volkswagen Beetle, um, that was between uh, islands six and seven on the southern end. And um, that little finger canal right there is where the Volkswagen was found. And a couple of our members found it when they were cleaning Island 6. Now, it's a complete car. It's not just uh, a couple of parts. It's the real deal. So, you know, 20 or 30 years ago, somebody uh, <laughs> put a Volkswagen Beetle there. And uh, nature has done what nature did and covered up most of it and rusted out most of it. But the VIN number was visible. So we actually met the police there and uh, they, they copied down the VIN number and they're going to do a little bit of research um, to see if they can figure out, uh, you know, if it was a stolen vehicle or just what it is. So um, I'd also like to show you a couple of pictures of some of the, the things that we found. Um, that's really kind of nasty. It's some, you know, mattresses. Yeah. You know, I don't think it's right that you would throw a beer bottle out of your your window, but you know, if, if you're throwing a mattress on Tropicana Park, you're making a conscious effort to load up your vehicle, drive all the way to Tropicana and um, dump it off. And that's a special kind of bad. So all of that stuff has been picked up. Uh, I think we have another picture to show. Uh, yeah, there's a pile of stuff uh, I believe that's on island uh, outside of Island Three. Looks like it might be some construction debris, 
And then uh, we have one more picture, which should be, uh, okay, that's, uh, actually that's carpeting. Yeah, somebody dumped their, their carpeting. That is the Volkswagen. So the, uh, the hunk of metal that's at the front in the bluish color, that's actually like the front hood and uh, part of the windshield and the VIN number is in that piece. The rest of it, a little further up on the bank, that's the body, the chassis and all the rest of the vehicle. And um, that's going to be, actually today is, what is today? Today is the 11th Thursday. So um, I'm expecting that there probably is a backhoe or something on Island 6 today, pulling that out of there and getting rid of it. So um, that's your update on uh, the Seven Islands and the Tropicana Park cleanup. And I'm really excited um, that we had a lot of interest. We had a lot of people show up. And um, the next thing I'd like to tell you about is uh, the partnership that we're developing with the city of Cape Coral and the city manager's office related to the um, upcoming membership meeting. Our plans are to do a Zoom membership meeting similar to what we're doing right now, but in partnership with the city of Cape Coral. So Maureen Weiss, who is the senior public information officer at uh, the city of Cape Coral, will actually uh, work with me and with others in the organization, uh, specifically Linda Stevens, our secretary, to put together a communication uh, meeting that will update the membership on all of the things that have happened since we got together the last time. And there's a lot, there's a lot of things going on. Um, you know, Seven Islands, Tropicana Park, Crystal Lake Park, uh, D&D Tackle. You know, I could, I could go on forever, but I won't. I'll use the membership meeting as the methodology and the, the time to do that. But uh, I would expect maybe within the next uh, 30 days or so, you'll see a bulletin where we announce the upcoming membership meeting. I want to thank all of you for your attentiveness in these interviews. We plan on doing these on a frequent basis. Um, at last night's city council meeting, there was a great discussion about the D&D tackle and the D&D boat ramps. And um, I'd like to spend a couple of minutes uh, explaining that to you. Uh, once it takes shape a little more, last night's meeting was conceptual. Three designs were evaluated. I would say within the next couple of weeks, we'll have some traction on exactly which of the three are being selected and which direction the city will take with that really important piece of property. And uh, I personally hope that we see a restaurant and a fuel dock on that property because we need it a lot, but we need to be very conscious of the fact that there's uh, traffic issues in that canal, also on Pine Island Road, and there are also parking issues. Thank you, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your week.